what's up? Who's that one guy? This is my new house until I fucking find somebody to let me throw him a stack. To let me stay at their crib for like two months until I like rack up because I'm working full time and shit. And not part time anymore. But I got like $1,600. So I'm just fucking sitting in the car just like I got cash. I'm chilling. I just jack my dick because my windows are foggy as fuck. And I'm relaxed. But, like, you know, um, it's not super important to, like, have a house. Like, um, until it's yours. But, what's up, my nigga? Thank you. Need all the blessings, you feel me? Over here fucking in the whip. House, I mean, car living type shit. I'm not crying though. You feel me? It's enough to cry about, but I'm not crying. I just like it when it's dark, especially when I'm jacking my dick. And you can kind of see the Celine on my eye in the dark, which is kind of weird. Zion. But I'm homeless still. So, have either two of you guys been in in the predic- uh, in a predicament similar to mine? Like, have you ever had to live out of your car and then work fucking um, overtime and have nowhere to go and have to shower at the gym and do the same gym shit in the morning? Oh, you been there? Damn. Well, I don't feel too fucked up about it then if somebody else is fucking, you know, had to go through that shit. So I guess I gotta just thug it out. But still, no tears, no tears. Just sperm. And I'm over here, like, at the worst place to jack my dick when I have, like, 1600 cash. I have like 1600 cash and I just sat here and jacked my dick at the strip club. I just realized like what the fuck is anyone doing in there if they're not coming and they're only getting blue balls. They're better off just parking and not paying to get in and just jacking off and changing their fucking minds. Am I fucking crazy for that or no? Because If I go in there, I'm going to fucking spend everything on not sex. And I'm going to still be fucking abstinent as fuck. But significantly broker that I need to be to pay for gas to like deliver pizza. Or even fucking, you know what I mean? Pay my phone bill so I can navigate when I'm doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's fucking crazy, like, when you think about all that shit. You know what I mean? I'm just waiting for this shit to be 5 o'clock, you feel me? So I can get up in that gym and just do damage, you feel me? And I got a padlock and I got a gym bag at fucking Walmart. I get my check every month. You feel me? But the thing about it is that shit's cutting off because I work full time now or some shit or I don't know. But I haven't I haven't committed to full time. I'm I'm still part time, but they're talking about maybe doing a full time. So I haven't made my mind up. You know what I'm saying? So I still get my check as of now until until I start doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand the complications of the shit because the minute you get too many hours they stop giving you that check and I definitely need that shit in the situation that I'm in and they don't even know me like that 
So, you feel me? Just over here, like, in darkness. But I like it, though. I like darkness. Yeah, if I don't do that shit, then it's no sense in even fucking looking at nobody because they're going to be, like, counting me out and shit because I'm black as fuck. So I can't just be black as fuck and fucking, you know what I mean? Not holding shit strong and whatever. Cause then I'm the weak slave that's gonna get eaten like veal. I'm trying to be long pig wildy, you feel me? Has anyone ever been to Cheetos? Let me show you the fucking. I'm gonna stick this shit up no, so you can see the fucking parking lot. I don't have any, I don't have any drugs or nothing, so I don't even think it's that hard to even be close to shit. Has anyone been here? Tell me right now, I'm in West Palm Beach. Who's in West Palm Beach on the fucking, on this Twitch presentation? Shit. And another thing, I gotta quit smoking these, and it's super hard to quit. It's like fucking crap. Because I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. I quit smoking cigarettes a long time ago. So my gums are like pink as shit. And my teeth are white as fuck. You feel me? And that shit helped me get a job. Because I'm not fucking, um. I don't have like brown ass gums like I did a year in jail or some shit. hard to read this shit. I gotta fucking elevate this one. Up. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. The show. But no, that's not. That's not it. Somebody's upset with my homelessness. I don't feel argumentative on this shit because I can't even let that shit catch catch a flame, and then I just be deciding to like just smoke some Malan. You feel me? And then just end up fucking tweaking and shit and shoplifting some shit that I can actually afford. Because at least I'm not broke. But I'm so homeless. There's no way. There's no way in hell I can move into some shit by myself for sixteen hundred dollars. So that's my only fucking um, problem. But I still got bread for like the little dumb shit and gas. You know what I'm saying? And that shit is a must for the pizza delivery job. And I smell good. I smell good as fuck because I got body spray and shit. Got a, I bought soap. I bought deodorant, the regular kind. Like two of the regular kinds and like three of the fucking bitch mob like body spray shits that's, that make you smell like bitch even if you didn't shower. But I'm showering though, but at the gym. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to like make that shit look not homeless even though homeless is fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's like different, but it's something that I gotta do for like maybe a week or two until I can fucking look at some shit to like directly move into no matter what. 
So I guess this is like what makes or breaks you as a house renter, not homeowner, but someone who's living indoors whenever they feel like it type shit. And then when I do get that shit, my next problem is going to be keeping that motherfucker, you feel me? So you'll probably be hearing me complaining about how hard it is to keep that shit like in the near future, like in weeks or some shit like that. Let me um update my cell phone what niggas is saying on this shit. I don't know if they talk to shit. I don't know if they still slime. Oh, degree. Yeah, they might not take my ass, but I'm still working on it. It's a process though. The nursing shit. Yeah, I really want to do that so I don't end up a bum. But um I'm waiting on the court to send me all the fucking documents and files that I need to basically you know, prove to them that my my record is wiped clean and that I'm capable of, like, you know, taking a job like that with, like, old people and, like, vulnerable people and shit like that. Because it's not violent. It's no violent crimes on my record. They expunge everything. Oh, gang. Shouts out Elvis. I rapes with that nigga. I be whips. I be whips with that nigga. That's something I like. I be whips with that nigga. Sperma. Pizza mom. I never skied it on the pizza. The thing about it, I never skied on the pizza because, you know, that's fucked up because I love pizza. I don't want anybody to skied on my fucking pizza. So whenever it's pizza involved with the shit, I don't even skied on that shit. I don't even fuck around because I need that job. I can't even be homeless. You feel me? Not for no stupid shit like skiing. When I could just, you feel me? Look where I'm at right now. I ski really fucking good. I don't even like sex. I only like mudding bullseye long leash. So I don't give a fuck because my dick is pretty as fuck. And I don't need that shit trusting what the fuck the unknown has to offer. You know what I mean? And I would be super pissed off if somebody fucking um, skeeted on my pizza but cheese and sperm i don't know one time i skied it in my mouth by accident in my own mouth when i was in jail and it was on the camera and everything when i was in the cell because i didn't have a fucking mat on my fucking bunk and i was on the top bunk right so i was laying on a rusty ass fucking slab of metal for like fucking days and shit and i was just jacking my dick and i skied it so far that i fucking skied it on my eye and i skied it into my mouth so I felt awkward as fuck. I was like, damn, here I am, spitting my own skeet out of my own mouth and washing my face. I don't even have a fucking pad. So I can't even compare that shit to like being in my car and not giving a fuck that I'm homeless. You know what I mean? That's why it's really no tears and shit like that. It was me who skeeted in my own mouth. You know what I mean? When I was in jail, if you're listening to the story. Uh, don't even, don't don't try to ask what I'm whipping and shit. I don't need people following me and shit like that. You feel me? Because when you're following me, it's somebody following you. Because it's some niggas following me. You feel me? Don't worry about it. That's just a bitch Because you don't even know how to how to talk shit like me You're just like a bitch Trying to act like a nigga Trying to hate on me to see what I do Like if I get corny as fuck And I get super testosterone driven But you're just a bitch Because that makes you horny And that's okay But that's that shit that keeps me In the parking lot jacking my dick of the strip club Instead of being in there like Trying to hear all that bullshit You feel me? So my question to you, pussy asshole, is what the fuck is you going to do about that shit? Because there's a lot of shit you could do, but you just don't do it. You feel me? Even though I'm mad homeless and I don't fucking, um, I don't have shit to bring to the table. 
But, like, still, it's niggas who is not homeless, who is not fucking with you for that reason. And they fucking with me. To the bones, you know? Bet that up. Because, you know, that's just real shit. It's, it's, not, it's not even a personal attack or nothing like that. It's just, like, from a logical, observing perspective. Oh, yeah, JT Thriller. That's my nigga. I rapes with that nigga. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. See, I hate selling drugs, you feel me? Because I hate what they do to people and shit like that. And now everything is just fucking, uh, you feel me? Everything could be mixed up. Fuck around, end up with a bulbous ass tip of the nose and skinny as fuck and then just clicking geometrically off the fucking crop and shit. I'm not hating like I bet you he's a very good guy shout out to power by the moon I rapes with that nigga I endorse him you feel me nigga know I got that eye nigga know I got that eye watch it was it cause it stained like some I don't want to do that gay ass shit or just freestyling and shit like I'm in a place to just be you know what I'm saying because this is real life shit I really literally don't have shit to do but wait for the fucking gym to be open but it's crazy when I'm at my aunt's house and shit I just be up all night type shit I'm laying down cozy as fuck comfortable but I'm not sleeping you know what I'm saying sometimes I just jack my dick like only one time the whole day, but I'm spending most of my energy organizing my thoughts to make sure that I'm at the job on time, making sure that I'm doing the right things with my money so I'm not fucked up, so I can sit in the car with the AC on and not off. You know what I'm saying? Making sure that I have all my shit, like my clothes washed and shit, my gloves for the gym clean and shit like that. And I'm just laying in a cozy ass bed, but that would be nice, you know what I mean? To have something like that. And I could just be, um, you know what I mean? Dipping and dabbing after work, go straight there, go to sleep, you know what I'm saying? Wake up at five hours later and then fucking go to the gym five hours, straight from there, go to work and then just pop in. You feel me? And just have something I could pay for incrementally. You know what I mean? Before I get my own fucking spot. But I would super pay while I'm there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, on time. As fuck. You know what I'm saying? I I look like I'm begging on this shit to whoever is fucking willing to listen. But I doubt that it's anybody in fucking West Palm Beach. So let me know if you're in fucking West Palm Beach and you're willing to make some bread off of Ruby's Slay and get a, give him a fucking bedroom to stay in or some shit. And you won't rob him for his Zyna. Because I don't have that much Zyna, but I got some drip, though. And I'm not trying to get robbed, though. Because I'm going to have to... To the boom, you know? But you know I need 2000 to bring my car And then also on Monday I gotta fucking go talk to the goddamn uh, To the PA Because I got in a fucking 
Somebody rear-ended my shit. I wasn't at fault, and they fucked my back all up. So here I am going to the fucking chiropractor to fix my back. You know what I'm saying? Because my back is fucked up. So now at the gym, I'm doing a lot less weight. Because you know me, I used to do that shit, everything on max. Last time I posted some slutty shit, I looked skinny as fuck, like a little fucking gremlin or some shit. But I still had the fucking muscle definition and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I know how to get it any type of way, the heavy way or the pussy fuck nigga way. You feel me? And I make that shit look good and I'm strong. You know what I'm saying? But... They gotta fix my back because that's fucked up. Uh, that nigga just came and rear ended me, fucked my whole bumper all up. And now I'm sitting here in my car, homeless as fuck, with a fucked up bumper. I got my fucking shit fucked up. So there's nothing niggas can really do about that shit but just complain and be homeless in this shit with AC though. What's the next? What's the next part? Damn, I don't even think I can do any part. Because as a homeless man, I'm not fucking attractive. You know what I mean? I'm sexy, like, because my blood is sexy for me inside. And for no other reason. Because I can't give a bitch shit and think that that's rational thinking. You know what I mean? It's not a rational to just be in this strip club that I'm in front of. I mean, behind. I'm in the parking lot, so I'm just, you know, doing that thing that you do when you have some money to go in there. You could be a fucking duck and fuck it all up and then end up broke as fuck and hate your life for the rest of the day and still have nowhere to sleep. Or you can hope that somebody will be a real nigga and you can throw him, like, you feel me, a band and then he'll give you at least like two months to get back on your feet. Cause you put two months together and you're working super fucking hard and you're saving all your tips. You can do that shit again on time whenever you need something, give him a little extra more. And then you can fucking still be saving up for your bread. As long as you're not on fuck shit, like going in the strip club and getting taken advantage of and shit by bitches. You know what I'm saying? Cause if they find out if they if you're wafting that you're homeless as fuck and you're giving them your last they're gonna hate you but they'll do all that shit you know what i'm saying but it's not even that lit it's almost like when you when you actually do that shit you're gonna want to only jack your dick when you get to the bottom of it when you get to the back cover of the shit when you read that shit cover to cover All that fucking pussy shit, all that fucking romantic ass shit that is so quick to change, it looks like the fucking stupidest shit that you could do, especially when you rush it, you know what I'm saying? Like when you don't know nothing about somebody, you're just hoping for them to be like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Who you need them to be, and they're nothing close to that, they're exactly who want them not to be coming to find out the whole time they were telling you otherwise you know what i mean i eat any bitch you feel me out the strip club or like on the street not in the strip club because everybody wants the sex fast nobody wants the fucking money more than the bitch that's pretending to be the bitch of your dreams you know what i'm saying Meanwhile, she's fucking pappies and shit. She's fucking your dad, your brother, and everybody. And that's the mother of your child. But only because... One fire. So, what are your... What are your opinions on everything that I just said? I wonder about my fucking followers sometimes. Oh, thank you for bumping my music, Kazuma Blade. Thank you. I really love and appreciate you for doing that.
Powered by the Moon will suck a dick for a feature from you. What's up with that? Um, Powered by the Moon. It really depends on if you're willing to, to do talent testing and if you're like an actual female. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, thank you. I'm glad that it had an impact on your life. Hopefully, you've been, you've been a good boy and you've been not going to jail or, like, you know, being too friendly and just, you know, positive thugging, like, Lil B the bass guy, you feel me? And repping the bitch. Oh, okay. That is so funny. I thought I saw Mo Greasy behind me. Like, I was parking. I don't know. This is a different parking spot. This is the um, the jack-off parking spot. But I was at a different parking spot. I thought I saw Mo Greasy behind me. But, you know, that psychic shit. We, we speak through the walls and through the cars. Like, we already know. Because everybody's looking. When you Whenever you rock like us, we got to learn how to talk without talking. You feel me? It's like some fucking ancient Egyptian hieroglyphic shit, but with Morse code. And then you know that that's him. But right now, we're incognito, like, you feel me? Undercover, so the plans don't get fucked up. But it's always a good time when you see your dog behind you in a different whip. And then you're like, oh, shit. But even though you don't want to be too hasty, because you don't want to fuck up the operation or the plan. Because everybody, ha they feel different ways about niggas like us. You feel me? Because we know a lot of people. We impacted a lot of people. And it's usually all good type shit. We never really be on the evil shit. But we know what to do with that. You know what I'm saying? So we got to really stay low-key. This is more or less low-key. Because you feel me? We don't have shit else to do. And as long as you don't know what the fuck you're gonna do after that then I can still get you gang gang light skin trans who are you talking about they or you're talking about the bitch who jacked my dick she is not a light skinned trans. She is a beautiful woman. I was on the clit in uh You talking about Halloween in there? Tell me right now. I don't have shit. I'm not even, I'm drug free, nigga. I'm icy and drug free. And fag me. Fag me. Fag me. Fag me. Fag me. No, I don't have no condom. I don't have no sex because it's gay. All you want to do is touch doodle, touch doodle, touch doodle, doodle on Zyna, doodle on food, everything, baby doodle, baby doodle. Oh, so cute. Pee pee doodle, pee pee doodle. I just dropped a little bitch, you feel me? I just dropped one little bitch. But the thing is, I'm fucking working very hard. Like, I'm not even a job type nigga. You know, this is the first time in my life. I'm 32, and this is the first time, like, I'm allowed to get a job. Because when you're on probation for fucking five years, then you're not allowed to get hired or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? All you can do is just fucking be on your dick and don't do shit. You can fuck hoes, and you can sell your body and shit to, like, hoes who want to buy that shit who have a fucking you know, a dick habit 
but you can't even really get a job and fucking make it long type shit. Unless if you fucking starve yourself with your check and then you have to save like maybe like two or three months or some shit like that. Maybe it's three months because it's like 24 or 22 to get your dick big for only a year. Like super big. But you still have to fucking pump that shit and face Paul Pierce with the fucking bruised ass dick and balls. You know what I'm saying? Because it seems like the gangster way to do it is to like get the preapis in your balls, like in your testicles, and they stick the needle so deep into your fucking testicles, like into the cor- the cortex of the middle of the gel of your testicle. You know what I'm saying? And then they stick it in your dick, depending if you want it fat or long and shit. And then it only works for a year. And every time that you do it, you're going to need more and more and more. So you're paying like double after the first time when you only got one. And each ball and and the dick. You know what I'm saying? And that's like 22,000. I'm not, not 22,000. 2,200. You know what I'm saying? And if you get eight on your check or some shit, 850 every every month, you're not doing shit for like three months you're not barely eating and you're going outside of that to hustle to like get food that's fucking crazy when you can't even get a job so right now i'm a, I'm a little big dick boys you feel me i don't give a fuck i'm natural but you can't suck my dick i'd rather just fucking come on your shirt you know what i'm saying because i like jacking my dick and i like fucking hoes that won't fucking eat my dick up and have my shit disgusting you know what i'm saying unsuckable my shit's suckable right now, and I, I fuck with that. Oh, damn. My bad, Trill, trill Triple Two. I didn't mean to fucking um, make you feel bad about it. But if you got the big dick, if you got the big dick shit, that's power, you feel me? As long as you know what to do with that shit when you got it. Because even if you fucking never did that shit, you got a working ass dick, and you fucking, um, you feel me? She's gonna fuck the big dick niggas and the little dick niggas. But not for dick, but for their money. You know what I'm saying? So don't even feel bad about that shit. Because you're just living your life to the fullest. And you're keeping it gangster. You feel me? You don't like wasting time. And you feel me? Time over money. But you're making money, not wasting time at the same time. So it's a win-win. So don't feel bad if you got a big ass long dick. You feel me? When you say mix, are you talking about like coke or some shit? If it's mixed, I don't fuck with it at all. Cause you gotta lie to me and tell me like, okay, it's it's a hundred percent type shit, and then I'll do it if it's mixed, and then I'll just be doing it the whole time because I I got no choice. You feel me? That's a problem. That's a drug problem. But I don't really fuck with that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any drugs on me, and also you feel me? Look at look at nine in the car next to me like that. Also in the, in the chat, <laughs> probably rapes with that nigga on being, but I'll never know because everybody's undercover and shit. You feel me? Damn, I don't know. It's just always some smothering ass shit. But guess what? I'm not a Hollywood ass nigga because I refuse to look like the fame is going to fucking um, be congruent with my fucking finances. And the shit is just not right. What the fuck do I look like even smothering somebody, salt blocking their operation and shit? And I don't give a fuck. I just want steak when I want it. I want fucking pussy when I want it. And I want... Zyna if I if I want it, you feel me? And I wanna buy that shit that I want. So right now, niggas is being homeless and I want a house right now, so I'm gonna get that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about YouTube, I don't give a fuck about IG, I don't give a fuck about Snapchat, I don't give a fuck about nothing, you feel me? 
I'm 32 years old. I'm a grown ass fucking man. I know I look like a baby and got no wrinkles and shit. I got no warts on my dick. I got no warts in my mouth. Uh, I got gums that are pink and not brown. You feel me? I just ate a steak, my bad. My gums are pink as shit. So they just act like they don't see that. And then they make my life difficult because they always want to catch a nigga lacking, crying in the dark or some shit. But they don't know nothing about me. You feel me? But yeah, I, I don't really... I fuck with coke. I will do some coke. I will do some H. I'll do... I've done everything. But it doesn't fucking... It doesn't keep me interested and shit. Like, I don't give a fuck. I think it's gay to, like, fucking get carried away with that shit. Because you really just want to jack your dick sometimes on that. And when you don't have it, you can't jack your dick. So it gets wild. And then you go to prison and you're forced to jack your dick without it. And then um, you don't get out of prison type shit. Because you fucked up in different ways. But that's just like the icing of the cake when they catch you in traffic with that shit. So I just fucking, that's why I got the square ass job. Because it... I don't want to be fucking in prison and fucking 32. That shit would be gay as fuck. And you know you got to cut all your hair off and shit when you go in that bitch. Or you can't even get a card to go to the fucking store. You know what I'm saying? Um, Last time I seen Lofty was at the old house that blew up. Somebody fucking um, blew up the house. I'm hoping that it that a fuse like short circuited it, but I'm hoping that you feel me, it was a natural thing. But even though I can't really hope for shit, cause the house is fucking blown up and gone, and lost everything. But at the same time, like you know what I mean. Who knows what the fuck is going on? All this crazy shit that's been happening. Like I'm super unmoved by that shit. Even my house blowing up and losing everything. You feel me? But um, since I saw Lofty one time, because he came to visit the family, he came to visit me and my mom and my dad and the two dogs we used to have that died in the car crash. Not car crash, but they died in my house explosion. And we came home and it was nothing. The dogs were fucking uh, buried in the fucking dirt in the front yard. And I was like, where the fuck did you get these supplies to fucking bury my dogs you feel me for me to come home and see this shit and my dog's buried where i live like um it's gotta be some shit going on like somebody probably like nuked my shit but here i am with my family hoping that fucking um what do you call it hoping that it i don't even know there's nothing to hope after that when you think about it when you lost everything, you know what I'm saying? But I'm working, I'm in loading, trying to get that fucking house so I can get my own fucking apartment and lease that shit. It's not gonna be my own, but I'm gonna lease that shit for starters. Do you feel me? I feel like a bitch talking, running my mouth like a little fucking whore on this shit. I don't know how to use this shit very good. This Twitch shit. Ruben, would you do a trans? I fucked a trans one to one time. I fucked a trans, but my dick was soft, and I didn't come. And the trans sucked my dick, and I made out with the trans. And she also sucked another nigga's dick that I was with, and I fucking made out with her with, made out with them, with cum in her mouth type shit. But I don't know. She sucked my dick like she liked cum, but even though she didn't get my cum, she definitely got somebody's cum. Cause when you're a trans. You're sucking all dicks and you don't give a fuck. You feel me? So that's a good thing about trannies. They suck dick. And it's always good when you get your dick sucked soft or hard, whether you can get it up or not. But, you know, what the fuck are you going to do? I was on a cocktail of drugs. But it makes me gay, but I don't know. I'd rather be gay than to be a fuck nigga all the time. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I could still fuck some pussy and shit. I could still get pre apps and have a super long dick. If I felt like it. If I wanted to buy it. But then I want to skeet by myself sometimes. And I want my dick to work when I do that. You know what I'm saying? But one day I'm going to do pre apps and have that same problem that niggas be having. Like not wanting pussy and shit. I didn't mean to try you, Tro Tro Two Two Two, but that shit could happen without preap. His dick don't go up. You feel me? You know you gang. I don't give a fuck about music business. You think I'm a pussy ass nigga? Like, you should start your own record label. Who the fuck started their own record label and is making any money at all? It seems just like a a laundering tool, like a little veil that you just draw before you to do all types of fuck shit in different jobs. And then you make it seem like you're making money off that. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. I will say that shit right now. Because the game doesn't love me and I don't love the game because fuck that shit. Fuck the game. Because I'm over here homeless as fuck. And I need some money, so I like square shit. I'm square bear pizza, man. I don't give a fuck. You should start your own record label. Because then you're going to seem corny as fuck. Like, that's going to pay the bills. Like, everybody wants to sit and listen to your feelings. You feel me? I love you though You feel me But you know That's how I've been feeling From the jump I'll get paid off music However they're paying But that record label shit I don't think they're paying I don't think you're gonna make any money Doing record label shit Cause I hate dealing with niggas And you think they're gonna be a certain way And then they're not even real niggas You feel me I don't wanna like Be disappointed by like Random niggas that I meet And make that be my living Cause whenever you're fucking annoyed and irked by all types of shit And then you have to just cater to people's egos and shit Then that shit ends up costing more than whatever you're making Which is probably nothing Because why why deal with music when it's just like porn It's naked bitches who don't make music Who just look good It's more interesting than hearing a good song You'll cut a good ass song off just to watch a bitch nut You feel me? So I... Excuse me. I just ate a steak. I just ate a big ass steak I had in this bag. You see this blood? I would drink it, but I don't know. I'm not feeling too high and hard. I'm not high and hard for gore. But that's blood from the steak. You feel me? It was good as fuck. I cooked it like two days ago. I put it in the fucking microwave before I left. I packed my shit up. And then um, I was just eating bites of it all day when I was delivering pizza. And that shit really fucking, um, it was good. I know how to cook some good ass steak. So when I get a house to cook them shits, it's gonna be smelling good like steak and shit and incense. You feel me? Stop asking me what whip I got Cause you're nosy as fuck Cause I'm gonna light your shit up You feel me? Next person to ask me what whip I got I'm gonna light your shit up Push your ass I'll sign it (laughs) Oh my god If you see me Just pull up with that shit I'll sign your shit I hate her Ruben Slick Lil bro bro Nigga I'm gonna put um, What's his name 
Glee showing you I hate Ruben Slick. You're gonna have AIDS before you get shot up in traffic, fuck nigga. Is this only my family behind the fucking veil of whatever the fuck this shit is? Because I feel like an asshole if I'm saying this mean shit. But it's real nigga shit. Like, you don't need people to know what the fuck you're driving in so you can get shot in that shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I'm going to be online telling you what I'm driving so you can fucking meet me in traffic and just shoot my shit up? That's why whoever is on this shit on a different axis, they can go find out who the fuck you are asking me this shit and then give you AIDS, watch you squirm and then shoot you up in your shit. Whatever the fuck you're driving as if I give a fuck because you're not going to be driving my shit the same way they're going to be driving your shit from inside of your own head type shit. You know what I'm saying? Because that's some dangerous ass shit. Just telling people what you're driving and shit online. I don't know. I don't like it. I'm white myself. I just don't look white. I have some white in me. Because the slave masters were like fucking on, on kin and shit. And also slaves. Just like niggas. Fucking on kin. Fucking on slaves and kin. Cornwall. Only because I'm in my fucking car and living out of my car and delivering pizzas and, and 32 and don't have a career. That's the only reason why somebody might say cornball. But at least um, I can jack my dick and not have to watch porn. And feel no guilt in my heart. Tag team of trans. I hate Ruben's sick. I'm not about it. We did it one time though. <laughs> we did do that. My bad for saying that fucked up shit, but because that's your job. I love you. I hate Ruben Slick. Oh, that's what's up. I kind of want a Slurpee. I'm going to fucking drive to fucking 7-Eleven and get a Slurpee. It's going to be, I don't know. Because I'm running out of juice. This shit is like Gatorade mixed with some pre-workout mixed with some. Wait, that's really all it is. Water, Gatorade, and pre-workout. A splash of Gatorade on that bitch. It's very nice. I'm about to run out. I'm gonna, I know I'm going to be thirsty as fuck. But I don't even know if 7-Eleven is even open yet. But this is like the chillest parking spot I can be at. All the fog in my window fucking, it fucking dipped. So now if I wanted to jack my dick, it's probably the best thing to not jack my dick. It's good when you have fog. But when you don't, like, you don't want people to see, have aerial view of you jacking your dick with some clear ass lube. Just, ta-da, boom, j Everybody just like walking around your car and shit. 
was like, that fuck nigga is so Paul Molo. Yeah, you can. As long as your career is being in the house and not living in your car, that's the plan. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather just do that shit. And that shit is going to be doing itself. The drugs are going to sell itself, even if it's not what it's advertised to fucking be sold as type shit. It's just the idea of the shit because it's fucking drugs. It's just another way to die like pussy. And nobody wants a normalized job But when you need that motherfucker You definitely want a normalized job You want a few of them shits Cause it's never gonna stay lit Even if you're a fucking um lit ass guy they what what's really lit to people is cutting niggas down to size and shit and demeaning them on a public level on a public platform so they can usurp like you know influence from people and that's lit to somebody like it's a very um it's super intangible to like um to deem some shit lit like permanently lit you know what i'm saying Cause that's not even necessarily what you want. Cause you always gotta be on the lookout for somebody always trying to like chop your dick off, you feel me? So all the hoes can see. And this fuck nigga. And everybody just sneering and cheering for the nigga who chopped your dick off. You feel me? That's what all fame has to offer. And also people thinking that you're rich as fuck when you're not even rich, you're poor. And people depending on you to be rich as fuck when you have no fucking way to be rich. And then everybody's waiting you, waiting for you to be rich on them. And you never do, so then they're disappointed. Oh, I met that fuck nigga, he's a fraud. I don't know how niggas could think I think about my songs all day and nothing else to be homeless in this shit like this. You gotta tell me some shit. Um, I gotta give somebody this money so I don't be a fucking bum. Cause I gotta air that shit out, you feel me? When it comes to that pussy that I've been fucking seeing in society. When I have a place to be, you feel me? When I have like a purpose. You feel me? You feel me? But that doesn't mean I have a fucking house. So it's just very fucking, it's like acid. It's like being on a fucking acid trip with this right here. You feel me? And then not only that, where's my fucking tips from? A poor stick like Bamba Rascla T. 
I mean, Bamba, Ross, Clark, Chichiwal, sir. I mean, Bamba, Ross, Clark, Chichiwal. Because I'm homeless, I'm legally gay for my own dick. You feel me? This is little tips that I got from pizza, you feel me? Separated from the shit. I still haven't got my check yet, but every day I'll make some little shit like this. If I don't smoke these, if I don't smoke these, I'll be rich as fuck. But I'm a fucking, I don't know. I'm gay for this. You feel me? I quit them before, so it's not a big deal. But this right here. 20. But this is like 35 right here, right? And then this is 1, 2, 3. So I got $38. $1,038 in cash. And on my card, I got some other shit. I got like $600 on my card. You feel me? Like maybe $589 to $620 or some shit like that. Because I've been buying so much shit to like make sure that I'll be straight living in my car just in case so I can save up enough. If I gotta live in this bitch a week, I think I should be straight because I have a gym membership for the rest of the month. So come five o'clock, I would just go to the gym, you feel me? Be thugging it and just try to, you feel me? Stay 360 thugging for, for my fucking double shift. You know what I'm saying? And just don't sleep. But that's basically the plan don't go in there and have this you feel me and this is what they want they don't want me they just want this shit talking about and then I'll take it back to the web you feel me I'm gonna be I'm gonna fucking um, spindle that shit through the comments cause I can't really That's what's up, Molix. I know you're gonna get everything on point. You feel me? You just gotta focus, you feel me? That's what I'm trying to do. You gotta dabble in some. Oh, look at this thought. <sighs> this thought just pulling off. Trying to get my business ideas in order. I don't know, just write it down. You gotta, whenever you get a good idea, don't let it slip away. Just write that shit down in your notepads, on your phone or whatever. And just keep going back to it and keep playing with that thought if it makes you feel good. And then eventually it'll manifest into the exactly what you need or something that you could use to become exactly what you need. That's what I do. So take my approach if you know that shit isn't working. Oh, bet that up. As long as you don't try to kill me. Because I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Big trans dick. I'm not trying to be your boss or nothing, you feel me? I just want to see you up and doing good with bread in your pockets. Bet that up, my nigga.
I don't even like sex, so you feel me? Because that bitch can't tell you I like sex. She's on that shit. I don't give a fuck. I, I would fuck her, but I don't give a fuck. That bitch is 19, so it's just some random shit that I could play with, like some neuroplasticity or some shit, but it's the dead, it's the dead riff. Let me smoke some more gay gay. I'm smoking gay gay. That was a bitch. She left because it was whack. If I paid thirteen dollars to be in some whack ass shit, I'll be mad as fuck, my nigga. It's better to it's better to get some some intel from some nigga like as a homeless man, like where is the best place for me to park and go to sleep and not wake up? You feel me? With police knocking on my window ready to take me to jail. You feel me? Because coming out of that shit broke as fuck, you're going to be looking for a nigga to tell you some shit after you ask him some shit like that. You feel me? Everybody police. It doesn't bother me though, but police is good. You feel me? They just be nosy on my thoughts. Damn, you just wanted to catch me dick riding fucking, um, a sponge. Let me show you. Let me show you how in tune with these shits I am. I'm gonna show you the fucking why. Why it was easy for me to quit because I had to get to the bottom of it. You feel me? This is what you do. You do this. Go like that. Yank this shit out. And look what is in this bitch. A sponge. It's a sponge and a fucking battery. You feel me? And this is what we're paying $20 for. Behind the fucking packaging. Do you see what I'm saying? This shit is fucking depressing. Because this... There's no way in hell that this shit... And this shit... Cost fucking $20. Do you know how much gas you can fucking put... $20 $20 in your fucking tank with this shit This is some fag shit Cause everybody who's smoking this shit Is getting fucking raped With a spiked Fucking flog In their fucking asshole Or some shit I don't know I didn't say that right But it's rape for sure It's rape mom But to support Satan Like I buy them from time to time And it's fucking hard to stop Because then you get sudden death And type shit You know what I'm saying but they can put anything on here. That's why I feel like they put like a Malon variant. And they water down Malon. And then they just put it in here. Because it's too busted. You feel me? That's why I just can't. Um, I can't get over it. It's better than cigarettes. Because they don't leave me smelling like shit. And they don't turn my gums black. They don't turn my gums brown as fuck. And they don't turn my teeth yellow as shit. I can just fucking. Use some good ass Colgate. What's that shit? The stain remover shit? The expensive $20 shit. You feel me? Like, the toothpaste that's $20 is better than having this shit. And it's crazy how this costs $20. It probably does stain your teeth. Because there's a toothpaste that costs $20 that whitens your teeth good as fuck. When you smoke only these, not just these and cigarettes. Because cigarettes really fuck your whole shit up. Your teeth, your lungs, and everything. 
but I feel like a faggot like spending twenty dollars every time I get one of these shits and then this is all that, that it is underneath. Super simple and super like I feel like you know an, an idiot for being on this shit. Yeah, I just threw that shit out the window because I'm a litter bug. If the police are coming to bitch at me, I'm gonna just pull off and just be like, fuck this shit. Like, I don't know. Let me read what the fuck niggas are saying. I want your bun, I want to play by dumb. I want a sacrifice. Big trans dick. $35 for a Nick stick in Cali? That's fucking crazy. That's... I don't know. I'm not gonna do that shit. I would, I would really fucking be forced to quit over there. A fume is like $35? Don't bullshit me. Shit crazy. That must mean he's dead ass serious. Or maybe he's just lying because he really wants to kill. Hey, baby. Oh, so powered by the moon. You like cigarettes, though. You like to smoke Tuscany. You like the flavor of Tuscany. You need that shit to fucking yank you into the fucking pits of hell. Oh, thank you so much, Kazuma Blade. That means so much to me. That's very lit. I wish I knew how to make money on this shit. I gotta find a bitch who knows how to stream and like figure out all the shit that they be talking about so they don't seem like awkward as fuck like me. All googly eyed like this and just like homeless. Cause I deserve to be sexy with icy. You feel me? No way, 30, 35. That's fucking crazy. So, all right, this is what I'm gonna do. Molix, if you wanna buy some fumes from me, you feel me? Just send, um, shit. Just send 20. Send 20 and I'll ship you them shits, 20 a pop. And then you go sell them shits for 35, yes or no? donation box just um i don't know i don't give a fuck if you come and try to kill me so i'll give you my phone number and you can sell me that shit in advance because when you try to kill me you better know what you're doing because they're gonna kill you if you try to kill me Oh, 300 minutes in a span of 30 days and have at least 50 followers. Oh, so you have to like, you gotta like um level up on the fucking, on the streamy shit, okay. Damn, that shit is demanding and shit. But do they add it up? Do they add up the fucking minutes that you stream like automatically and then invite you to do that shit, Kazuma? Or do they fucking, um, do you have to ask them to like, Flickerlate that shit for you. I need to know. And then, oh, but then I gotta go into to the post office and send you the fucking um the fumes, right? How come you don't go to the Arab and just ask him for his palette? You feel me? If you stay tuned, if you stay tuned, I'm going to try to talk to an Arab and see if I can go finesse with the palette and order a big ass box of fumes on his face. You feel me? Because that's an option. I'm not even going to count. 
and then if you have you could get the fake ones or you could get the real ones and i know even real or fake like you could still probably sell them shits for 35 dollars you feel me it's just that the arab they have access to the palette you know what i mean so you need to fuck with them it's some niggas down here with like little stores and shit it's probably some type of way that you can finesse them, convince them to like give you access to that. Cause I think I need to get on that. They're fucking selling for thirty-five dollars a pop. That's fucking ridiculous. You could sell those like that's more expensive than fucking anything good. Like real drugs or some shit. Oh, for sure. Thank you so much, Kazuma, for letting me know that. That means I gotta stream a lot more than I do. Damn, you might as well fucking get that money, my nigga, because it's, it's really hard. I'm over here homeless with a full-time-ass job. And then you might not even go to prison for that shit. And you're making money selling shit that you don't go to prison for. You know what I'm saying? You're making... Because niggas go to prison selling $35 for certain shit like mollies and shit like that. But Malon, like fake mollies. Not fake mollies, but, you know, demon from hell mollies type shit. All right, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep fucking posting homeless in my car, and then it's gonna be. I'm gonna make it a lit thing somehow. I'm gonna have to somehow make that shit lit when I do that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get that fucking palette for you. It's gotta be a certain way to do that shit. Maybe you're doing that shit and just cucking me to the facts that you're, like, already doing that. You know what I'm saying? Because location is everything when it comes to that shit. When you're around a place where it's more poor people than rich people, then um, it's easier to be poor. But when you're around, like, a place with, like, good health care benefits and insurance and all that shit like that, health insurance, then everybody's rich. So the rich people don't let people look poor around them. You know what I'm saying? The rich people don't let the poor people look that poor because then they're like bleeding and dripping on them and shit like that. That's a good thing, Molekas. That's a good thing. Molex mix. You gotta keep it like that. So nobody is going outside. And so when somebody is going outside, then everybody's on high alert, which keeps everybody rich. me to show you will i get fucking flagged if i show you some porn if i show you some random shit like if i show you my archive on my ipad or some shit like that i need to know because i don't have shit else to do i'm just over here in the car
has anyone heard the word coimaloim? Does anyone know what the word coimaloim means? And then I got all these. I got another black one. got a dookie stick it might not hit babalao oh see there you go cause I'm black dates okay I'll, I'll keep that in consideration I gotta be a fucking super um I gotta be 